Christmas. But I have finished my December daily, so I thought I'd just do a quick flick through. I've got two books. Book one, which is actually a snap, oh, that's coming unstuck, snap binder, which I've covered with paper back and front and did some um, glitter tape there. And then this one was a Borden album, which I put book two on um, because this one got too full. Okay, so starting off here, I've got um, this piece of paper was actually um, a mink paper, which I foiled myself. I made a little shaker pocket, which I've stuck on using a frame and an acetate Merry Christmas. That's from the Busy Sidewalks collection. And then Hello December, part one there. And on the back of that, I've got a cut file from Pear Tree Cut Files, Advent Experience, which I did uh, of a gnome, which I've backed. And then my little calendar. I always like a calendar at the beginning of every one of my um, December dailies, um, detailing what I'm doing over the Christmas of the festive period. Another cut file from Pear Tree, um, which I've backed again with some papers. And then onto a pocket page with another shaker pocket. And then just some photos on this page. I used a life crafted page protector here just to tell the story of mine and Penny's Christmas socks. And then on the back, I've just done a, a filler page there. This one I did, excuse my husband sneezing, uh, pop up here. Let's get it all in. There we go. Shut that back up again into frame here we go and then a copy of my target member certificate from swimming world which i got to just before christmas my christmas crop photo of that including a nice cake that karen made for us Hugh in his christmas t-shirt because we watched lots of hallmark christmas movies another cut fire from pear tree um, i've got a paper clip here just holding in my journaling there and a photo on the back of me posting Christmas cards. I've just kept drawing out just so I've got the paper clip on that. Uh, Hugh and Penny at the supermarket being silly. And then I've got a little lift up bit here about my TBR for Christmas. Our cats in their hats. Meal out with friends. Another life crafted. Oh no, this was um, a larger 6x8 page protector which I cut down and fused so that I could use the small squares here and then a larger one here and I just put a, a bit of that mink paper, vellum paper in there and then just fill it on the back with including a, a little shaker card here which I put two all over the top and stitched, machine stitched around. Another um, cut file from Pear Tree Cut Files. This one um, I've made into a shaker pocket with sequins and bits and pieces. And then this one, two days, uh, documented in this pocket page. I didn't do anything on the back of those. It's just purely stuff on the front of those two. Oops. Um, our cat Arwen, it was her 18th birthday. So that she deserved a picture all of her own on that one. And then another of the Pear Tree Cut files um, leading into our trip to Enlightened light show at Highlands House, where I've done a... Uh, let's move that. Over a flip out page here with lots of photos from the evening out. Um, just went really well. And then the last page in here on the back of that is just a small pocket um, detailing some Zoom drinks I had with ladies I used to go to school with. So that's the end of part of book one on the 17th. And I will upload this one and then I shall do part two. Uh, another day so this isn't too long a video. In fact it was such a short video here's the next part. Jump on into the second book and to start that one off I don't know if you can see that too well I've got the acetate piece from Busy Sidewalks here which I've just um, popped a piece of white card behind to make it easier to see that printed on there because it's so pretty and just put part two on that and then just a little filler pocket here and a couple of um, pocket pages I've made up there and then in this pocket here I've got a little zine which Dearly D showed us how to make um, where I've put in photos of the um, lights from 
houses in our area. So just a, um, a few photos in there of that, but that was a nice way to record those. Ooh. Put that back in there. And then that's a photo of the three of us, me, Hugh and Penny, when we were out for that walk. And then this was decorating the gingerbread house that we did. So I made a waterfall for that. And the journaling's here. I quite like how that went. I think next year I'm going to do, not do all these interactive bits though and go back to a flat book so that it is just one day, uh, one album's worth. And then on this one here, I've got a tag that falls out with journaling on. All of these are on my Instagram in more detail. Another cut file from Pear Tree, um, The Big Night, again on a piece of that acetate from the busy sidewalks. Um, leading into Christmas Eve, where I've done just a pocket page with a bit of a, a shaker pocket up the top there, which obviously shows through here. And then this was a life crafted page protector, um, shaker pocket at the bottom, and then a photo of us on Christmas Eve. It's Hugh, my mum, and Penny. And then Penny insisted I sat down, so I got in the photo. This one was originally an Amazon gift card holder, which from a couple of years ago, which I've kept. Um, that's where the gift card would have been. And I put in there just a little bit of journaling, which I thought was a nice, and it's a nice intro into Christmas day then. So our Christmas tree on Christmas morning. And then page protector with lots of photos on. A little shaker card there and some journaling. And then say a bit more journaling for Christmas. That was all Christmas morning. And then here I've just done a little lift up pocket a bit here and um, documenting how my husband tricked me with my present. Another cut file from Pear Tree, not sponsored by them, but just enjoyed their cut files. Um, and then a full page, page protector here. Though the used journaling tags don't pull out, they're just for decoration. Um, Christmas dinner at my son's, there's my son Ben, his wife Amy. My mum, Penny, me and Hugh. And then just another full page little layout there. And some more photos there on Christmas Day. And then we're on to Boxing Day. I just did um, one six before layout there. And then another one for the day after Boxing Day. I always go to the 31st. Uh, Hugh and I went for a walk to Hyde Hall Garden. So I did a little lift up. Um, bit here because he also cooked us brunch that day so I wanted to document that. Penny made us a lovely turkey soup for lunch this day here. Then another of the life crafted page protectors, a bit of interest in here um, and I just cut down some of the paper and also I don't know if you can see but I um, cut out some of the uh, little presents from this paper and raised them on uh, foam pads to give a bit more interest there. Just a filler page here using one of the Tracy Reed papers. And then New Year's Eve, I've done a little tag flip here and um, just detailing what we did on New Year's Eve. And then the bottom one there, and it says, you can't see it too well on camera, but it says Happy New Year there. And our last photo of, 2000 and, of yeah, 20, 2021, 2021. And then finished off with this, another of the cut files, um, and it says, and that's a wrap for 2021. I'm not sure how well you can see that on the camera. It's very shiny paper, because I used some paper that I'd foiled, um, and I chose shiny letters. So that is my December daily. Oh, well, those are my December dailies for this year. As you can see, they are pretty chunky. So next year, I do intend to go flat and not doing this interactive thing so I can get it all into one album. Okay, thank you for looking. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you again soon. Bye.